Hi. Now in this example, we've got the mass m grams of a substance is increasing exponentially so that the mass at time t hours is given by m equals 250 multiplied by e to the power 0.021t. And then we've got to find the time taken for the mass to increase to twice its initial value and deduce the time taken for the mass to increase to eight times its initial value. So if this is a question that you'd like to have a go at, I'll give you a moment just to uh, pause the video, come back when ready, and uh, I'll take you through the work solution. Okay, so let's see how you got on if you had a go. Well, first of all then, what we need to find out is what the initial mass is so that we can then double it. So we could say that when t equals zero, that would be the initial time. When t equals zero, just substituting it into here, you can see that m will be equal to just 250 because e to the power zero is just simply one. So we're looking for when that mass now is doubled. So we're looking for when the mass is 500. So when m equals 500, then we've got therefore 500 will be equal to 250 e to the power 0.021t. And we can cancel this into here. This goes once and that goes twice. So all I've got to do is just solve this equation for t. And to do that, I would take natural logs to both sides. That's logs to base e. And if I do that, we're going to have the natural log of 2 on this side. And if you take the natural log of e to the power something, all you're left with is that power. So that's going to be 0.021t. Okay? So to get t, all I need to do is just divide the natural log of 2 by 0.021. And if you do that on your calculator, you should find you get 33 point naught naught seven and so on and if we were to give this say to two significant figures it would be 33 and the units would be the time which is measured in hours so it'd be 33 hours and we'll just say that's to two significant figures 2sf for short now for the next part we've asked to deduce the time taken for the mass to increase to eight times its initial value. And so what we're looking at here is when the value for that mass m is eight times the original initial mass of 250. You could work that out. I'm just going to leave it as that. And I'm just going to substitute that into our equation that we've got up here and see what happens. Okay, so we've got 0.21t there. And what happens is that that mass cancels into this eight times over. Okay, now that's really going to mean that this answer here is in fact going to be three times bigger. How did I know that? Well, if we just work through this, okay, you'll see that like this one, we had a two here, now we've got an eight. So if we take natural logs to both sides, we're gonna have the natural log of eight instead of the natural log of two equals 0.021t. Now, eight can be thought of as 2 cubed. Okay, you don't have to go and change it like this. It would still work if you didn't do this. But I'm just going to show you why it's three times bigger than this answer. Purely because by the power rule for logs, 
you can bring the 3 out the front and you've got 3 times the natural log of 2 and that will equal 0.021t. So t will be equal to 3 times the natural log of 2 divided by 0.021. And we saw that this result, as I say, was 33. So we're just doing 3 times that result. 3 times 33 is going to give us 99 hours then to two significant figures. Now I say you don't have to put the, the change this to two cubed. You could just leave it as the natural log of eight. You're still going to get exactly the same answer if you do the natural log of eight divided by 0 0.021. So a nice little neat trick there if you can see that. All right.